Jollibee, the entire menu. Just kidding. Oh, oh it's all fries. Oh, that's the fry bucket. That's a lot of fries. That's a lot of stuff. We've been in the Philippines for a while now, and finally we're doing Jollibee. If you've watched our other taste test videos like this, you'll know that we always get delivery. But this time, because it's a special occasion, oh. and there's Jollibee's all over the Philippines, we went to the nearby Jollibee and we picked it up. We carried 50 pounds of Jollibee back to our place, as you saw in the intro. It might have even been like 80. So be ready for a child size amount of Jollibee. Are you ready? I am ready. Let's start with the fries, because we got so many of them. They look pretty crispy today. Look at that. Wow. So delicious and delectable. We tried these in Milan. Yes, we did, and they were very soggy. They were awful. Oh, but they got crunch. They're crispy today. Wow. They got a nice, they got almost maybe slightly too much salt. I am very salty. They are crispy and fluffy on the inside. Jollibee, you've outdone yourself. Wow, we thought Jollibee couldn't fry. We've told the story a few times, but the Milan ones, there was some bag that was unclaimed the whole two hours we were in there, or like hour. And when our order finally got time to be uh, served, they just took the fries out of that bag. So we Terrible. got our old fries. Terrible. These are crunchy. Good job, Philippines, you didn't fry. Next, the spaghetti. I technically didn't have this in Italy. Oh, yeah. The spaghetti with banana ketchup. Is it good? Uh, we'll have to see. It was all right in Italy. Oh. I'm not a fan of spaghetti generally, but you guys said this is not normal sauce. It's banana ketchup, so it's not the same. I guess we should probably mix mix it and proof of mix mixing. Here's the proof of the mix mix. We didn't mix pasta before and everybody yelled at us. But look at how mixed this is. Wow. So mixed and so red and so noodly. Looks like this came out of the inside of a cow. Thank you, Jollibee. Very epic. Ready to nude this? Nude. Jollibee spaghetti. It is sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. I mean, it tastes, it does taste like spaghetti. And the noodles, they're very similar to, what was it, Pizza Hut. Ah. Pizza Hut's noodles. It's not bad. This is actually very similar to the bolognese. If there was a bit more meat in there, it'd be the same as the Pizza Hut bolognese. There's a hot dog right here. Oh! A hot dog taste test! Is it like a hot dog from Hot Dog Land? Do the Hot Dog Land dance approve. We could do the Hot Dog Land dance right now, ready? <laughs> we are hot dogs from Hot Dog Land. Yes, we are. Jolly Spaghetti. I mean, I'm not a fan of spaghetti in general, so it's all right for me. What do you think? For fast food spaghetti, it's good. How many fast food spaghettis have you had? Not many. That's wow. the thing. They don't have it much. <laughs> if you were to go to any restaurant, the spaghetti would be a better. Any restaurant? What about spaghetti that you found on the street wrapped in a tin foil? Okay. Uh, it would not be better. Really? That. You no. don't doubt tin foil. Oh, okay. We were supposed to get ube and cheese pies, but we got only mango, it seems. Epic. All right, so we have have had the burgers in the U.S. and Milan before, but these are little different iterations here. So I got the amazing Aloha Champ Burger Supreme Frack. I don't even know what it was called. There's a lot of adjectives on these. And you got the Champ Solo Supreme something. I don't know. But that is an impressive looking burger. Look at that thing. Let's see yours. Oh, that looks pretty tasty. Wow! Jollibee? Looking good though. Wow! A double Aloha Champ Junior Burger Solo. That looks fracking cheesy and it's du big. Double Burger Cheese Bacon Something Champ. Bonanza Aloha Amazing. Mine's not amazing. Though. Oh, mine's only mine's amazing. So there should be a pineapple on here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I'll bite into the pineapple. Wow! There is so much sauce on this thing. What kind of sauce is it? I think it's just straight mayo on top. Oh. And then there's some other sauce in there somewhere that's like sweet. Very good. But it's so, there's so much. Mm. This one's really good too. The pineapple is surprisingly subtle in this massive meat bonanza right here. Amazing junior bonanza of meat. Look at that. But the burger itself tastes pretty good. Look at how much sauce is oozing out of there. Yeah, burger is solid. There's a fraction of bacon on here. That's good. That's really good. It's really cheesy. So before I eat that entire burger, 
I'll put it down and we can eat something else. Uh oh, that's a big strip of bakey. Oh wow. Oh wow. We're gonna freaking rip. Guys, we didn't show this in the intro, but we do have palate cleansers. Wow. Very epic. But well, one thing that sucks about bacon burgers is every time I bite into a, a piece of bacon, it rips the whole thing out. True. It needs to be crispy, like really crispy. So you can crunch and then it just yeah. goes. These ones were uh, not as crispy. Coke flow. This is not a gen generally a thing in the U.S., but they have it here. I got one at McDonald's and I was disappointed that it had ice. So I got this one with no ice. That video is on our Facebook if you want to check hey, that out. Hey, exclusive. There's ice. There's fracking ice. There is. I told them no fracking ice. And they're like, wow, we can't not put ice in there. We use too much coke. <laughs> They'll lose money if they <laughs> don't put the ice in there. It doesn't look like there's as much ice. No, no, not at all. It doesn't even reach like halfway down. Yum. Mm -hmm. See, in the US, and it's surprisingly here, I didn't expect it. Root beer floats are the float, not coke floats. I don't even know if I've. I, they have like coke, like ices and stuff. That's the closest you get to a coke, coke float, really. They don't ever do it with coke. No. But this is good. It works pretty well. Yeah. Is it as good as root beer? No. But it's a close second. Yeah, no. it's pretty good. We could have we could have got the royal one. That would be weird. But we want a coke, so sorry. Only coke. Now there's gonna be a lot of ice in there. Heck yeah. Straws. Epic. Sick. We got straws. Hey, there's a lot of forks in here. Hey, I'm fork in here. Let's crack into some of these other meals we have. What do we have here? Whoa, it's the garlic beef. Garlic pepper beef, was it? I don't see the garlic or the pepper. Just looks like beef. All right, so I guess we can try some of this garlic pepper beef. Get a little Ooh. mix mix in here. Oh wow, nice mix mix. Is this Filipino approved? This, oh frack, I just dripped it. How? Whoa. The beef's got a really funky texture. It's like the the topsalog almost texture. It it's super. It just kind of just falls apart. There's like a lot of gravy, but it's got like a hint of garlic in there. Where's the pepper? Where is the pepper? Are they slouching on the pepper? Slouching on the pepper. Rice taste test. Rice taste test. Oh, didn't split very well. Oh wow, rice. that's a big bite of ricer. Only rice. We can do only rice challenge with all the rice we have with these meals. <laughs> There's a lot there. A lot of the things just say rice meal on top of it. Hey. It's like rice. That's an interesting one. I mean, it's not bad. It's not fantastic. The The gravy and the garlicky is nice. It is. It is. The is. I'd rather get a burger steak probably. True. I would assume. We got McDonald's burger steaks before and we've gotten the burger steak before at uh, Jollibee. The, uh, I didn't, the texture of the beef isn't fantastic, but it still tastes good. So that's all that matters is taste. Hey. Taste. Got another rice meal here. What's this one gonna be? Is this, I feel like it's ultimate. No, that big one's too big to not be ultimate. What is this one? It's just a normal burger steak. But with some, why do these look like burnt almost? Are those They're oven very taquitos? Dark. That is very dark. Um, but we got the burger steak. Yay. Cut into that. Oh wow, that one's small. Oh, burger steaks are something we didn't really have, uh, or never really eaten that much in the U.S., but they eat them a lot here and they're yummy. I gotta make sure mine's gravied up. Oh, 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 oh. you're lathering it in the gravy. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that bite. That's good. That is good. It's good. It's really, burger steaks are really good here. Because it's sort of like a sausage patty almost, like the flavor it has, and then it's also got gravy on there. And gravy is delicious. It is. And then the rice to just smooth it out. I like the burger steaks at Kenny Rogers a lot. Because mm -hmm. they're thick. They're thick. Last time I went there, they didn't give me gravy. Oh, that's very sad. Kenny. Kenny. But these are really good. Uh, you could get, easily get a, like a two piece of that. That would be a yummy meal. Also get ten things of rice, because why not? At least ten things. Well, you could do only challenge of 40 things of rice. Should we do the only challenge Jollibee version? Yes, that's a new thing. May and assault? Uh... Just, just because it's included in the price of Mang doesn't mean you can't do it at Jollibee. We're gonna do it. We did five in Mang, now we gotta do ten at Jollibee. Only patties and we have to eat them with our hands like this. Yes. I ate three of them when I had food poisoning. Oh! Let's try the lumpia from 
Jollibee, and we got some sweet and sour sauce, it looks like. I tried to wipe the rice off onto the rice, and then I got more rice <laughs> on it. It's too sticky. Oh, very orange, sweet and sour sauce. Let's get a dunk shot. Dunk shot! Double dunk shot! Zoink, zoink, zoink. That was a great double dunk. That was. Double dunks are always sick. Double dunk or dink? Double dunk or dink! dink. Okay, the, the outside's pretty soft. Oh, yeah. The taste is pretty good. Mm-hmm. I like the sauce. The sauce is good. It's obviously not to the part of uh, some of the sit-down restaurants we've gone to that actually cook them like fresh and stuff. But that's pretty good for fast food. I'm sure that's much cheaper than the other places. It's, I mean, everything combined was 1500 total. Which is one of our cheaper taste tests, and this is the most amount of food we've gotten by far. We could feed a family of 12 for the same price as one sit-down meal. We were supposed to, probably. <laughs> they gave us enough forks and spoons for 12 people. That is a good meal right there. Shanghai and burger steak. I would eat that. Palate cleanser? Oh, there's a lot of chocolate at the bottom. Oh, oh wow, that's a lot. I was wondering why it tasted so chocolatey all of a sudden. You almost lost the Coke float? That almost all went down. Guys, if you ever plan to do a taste test like this, it's a mess. It is really a mess. Especially if you're eating things like one bite at a time. Let's do the chicken. So one of these is spicy, one of these is not spicy. I think the chicken we had in Las Vegas was pretty fracking spicy, wasn't it? It was really spicy. And this appears to be the spicy. It has a little spicy flake. That's a big piece of chicken, oh my god. Oh, that is quite thick. Spicy flake! And normal chicken. No spicy flake. Uh, guys, I've eaten a surprising amount of fried chicken and rice so far in the Philippines. So I feel like I'm a pro now at how to do this. And by pro, you mean? Uh, first, you take your little square of rice like this. You gotta take a bite out of it. Yes. That's just how it works. Oh wow, it's really hot and it buttery. It is pretty hot. All right, so you take your rice and you take a bite like this. Keep it in your mouth, keep it in your mouth. And you take your chicken like this. Oh, wait. And you dangle it by a piece. All right, and then you just, oh no, oh no. Wasn't a strong enough piece. No. <laughs> you just bite off of it like a pinata. And then, you eat it in your mouth. Take your gravy. Gravy? Um. Oh, yeah. That's delicious. Oh, frack. That chicken's so spicy. Really? Oh, man. That's way more than I remembered. That bite actually kind of worked. Woo. Very, like, inconvenient to do it that way, but it actually <laughs> tasted good. <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, frag! No. Wait, cut you off the littlest nub. This might have a slight spice to it. T taste this nub. Oh my fracking gosh, that's hot! What the heck? That's the hottest thing we've eaten in the Philippines. Oh! I put it in my right side, and then it, when I swallowed it went over my tongue. There's just a line of spice on my tongue now. What the heck? Filipinos don't even eat spicy stuff that much, I didn't think. My tongue is going numb. That is so spicy. This one even has a tiny bit of spice on it too, I think, the non-spicy. What the heck is happening? Why is that so spicy? I even drank gravy. I had the tiniest bit and I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Did they do this on purpose? We had such a big order and they're like, frack you. Frack you. There's actually, when we got there, there was people who had five of these bags. That's really hot. I'm gonna try to go for this. Get an actual bite the correct way. Let's see, we're gonna shave off a little piece of chicken. All right, all right. Shave off some rice. I guess I'll follow along. Grab some gravy from the scooper, pour it on my chicken, put it all together into one delicious, professional Filipino spoonful right there. You see that? Gravy, chicken, and um, rice. I got my spoonful as well. Fantastic. Here we go. My nose is really running. It tastes so good though. It does, their chicken is really good. It is. I mean, look at this huge piece of meat right here. This is so juicy and yummy. And this is really spicy. It's like the fire from the pits of Tartarus and my mouth is filling with saliva. It's still hot. I can barely even speak. For a one piece, it costs 91. 91 for this. This is a meal. That's a meal. And it's good. What the frack? Jollibee, what are you, that, that dang bee. 
He's he wherever he is. He's somewhere in this place. He's just watching us with that smug smile of his. That pesky bee. He's like. Mm -hmm. It's because you it's grabbed so his antennas. Spicy. Twice now. You grabbed his antennas twice. If I apologize to him, will he? No. He's pissed. It's too late. He's gonna kill us with that spice. The final thing before our final palate cleanser. It's something amazing and ultimate. Amazing. And ultimate, the one and the only dun, 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 dun. ultimate burger steak with egg. But the fries under there are gonna be super, super soggy. <laughs> They're gonna be so sogger. It's like poutine, but it has a burger steak and no cheese curds. Very sad. This is a big hunk of meat. That's like the thickness of the Kenny Rogers one I was talking about. You can get the thickness here. Okay, so. I gotta get some fry. Yes. I don't want the big fry. Give me the small frickin' fry. This is a big, the spoon is not big enough for this. You need an extra large Filipino spoon. Okay. Oh, nice. That's a nice portion. That is indeed a nice portion. You just go ahead and eat that first. <laughs> so you don't have to carry it on the plate for too long, or the spoon for too long. Does it taste ultimate? It tastes pretty ultimate. Really? Extra ultimate? The egg, I feel like, is a strange addition. I was literally just gonna say that. I don't know if I would, if I were to continue eating this, I don't know if I'd put bites with the egg again. You could get it without the egg, but it was ultimate, so I had to get it with the egg. Yeah, yeah. That's good. The the flavor on this one, I don't know if it has more, if it's just a bigger bite, so it tastes like it has more, but this one seems like it even has more flavor. Wow. That's good. That was, some would say, ultimate. I feel ultimate right now. My lips are still burning. My The side of my mouth is still a tiny bit hot. What the heck? I'm gonna try to eat that whole thing too and I'm gonna die. We'll have, uh, if it's crazy, we'll have uh, random footage at the end of this of him dying. Yay. The chicken pot pie? Chicken a la king pie? Does that just mean it's a long chicken pot pie? It is quite long. What's the length of this thing? That's a thick daddy. This is, must be a thick boy, is it not coming out of here? Oh, oh my, my god! Oh my god, that is thick! <laughs> Why is it red? Oh my gosh! Some would say, thick boy alert, thick, thick boy alert! Wow, alright, uh, I guess just knob off a knob. Oh, that's crunchy! Whoa, whoa, is that cheese? Yes. Whoa. That is really cheesy. That's impressively cheesy, Jollibee. I don't know if I tasted any ch any chicken. Oh, maybe a hint at the end now. I got like mostly cheese. Oh gosh, this is all gonna squirt out the other side. It's so crunchy. Whoa. It's so cheesy. It's a flavor explosion of cheese. Oh my god. I'd not expect it to be that cheesy. It's like it's like mac and cheese cheese. Yeah, yeah. It's like. No, like Velveeta stuff, where it's just melted and just all oh, in there. Ooh. I didn't get. I don't know if I got chicken or not. All I taste is cheese and crust. And then, like, once you finally start getting it down, you get the pie crust, which gives it like a slight, like, oh, slight sweetness. Their pie crust is incredible. Like, incredible. It's so good. And we made sure to get a lot of them. Yeah, we did. So, uh, for the final palate cleanse, something we've already had. Peach mango pies. We have, um... We went to Jollibee the first day, but we didn't want to do a whole mukbang. We were here. So we do have me taste checking the chicken sandwich and him tasting a normal burger steak without Lumpia Shanghai. So that's will be added to the end here if you want to see that. Back now, to this. We have big pizza rolls. Oh, it's a, is it, there's pepperonis inside of this? Mine has purple on it. Does that mean it's ube? Oh wait, they Did say all of them? Wait, you have, yours is checked as other. Other? So that must be the ube one. Ube this, cream, baby! This, we didn't get any buko ones, it looks like. Okay. Looks like it's just three of each. I was disappointed. I had this in Vegas and it was really good. Should be mango. It is mango. Oh, yummy. They're fracking pies. Fortunately, they're not warm after eating the entire menu. No, they aren't, but the flavor is still making me very thirsty, but so good. This ube one is so good. So good. Could you imagine putting the toaster strudel cream on these? Oh, it'll be so good. Thank you very much, Jollibee. I'm sorry we disappointed you. My mouth will burn because of it. I hope 
our love for the pies and the uh, burger steak and the burgers and the fries will help reprimand me grabbing on your antennas. Can't go the first day without a gel, it'll be... Oh. It looks pretty solid. Look at that tastiness. And then of course... Is that the pineapple juice? The vegetable. Thank you. Everybody for watching a Jollibee taste test. The ultimate Jollibee taste test. <laughs> it truly was ultimate. There is still a few things we haven't yet got. They have some breakfast items that we haven't actually seen anywhere else in the world. We thought this would be a <laughs> food for today. If you've been following our um, channels for a while, we do have other channels. One is Trifate Geo, where we learned about a lot of stuff in the Philippines. We've been trying Jollibee internationally for like the last year. Any place that we went to that had a Jollibee, we'd try it. So if you want to see Jollibee, what it's like in Italy, Vegas, Dubai, you can check out our other channel. Can check them out, it's cool. Why not? See you in the next one, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed, and uh, where's the frat? Duck wasn't in this whole video? Duck, sign us out. Where's that fracking bee? I'm gonna kill him. Jollibee versus duck? <laughs>